Hello, my name is Eleanor Scar and I am Head of Art and I also teach Photography GCSE. So I'd like to take this opportunity to just tell you a little bit about photography um, and what you will actually be studying if you choose photography. Um, so basically it's based on digital photography. So uh, the first term you will be learning all about DSLR cameras, um, in both fully manual mode and also um, in some of the settings as well. Once you've um, learned the basics and um, you've done lots of practice, uh, we move into term two where you do a project based on the photographer Slinkachu. Uh, Slinkachu um, is a photographer who uh, works with little mini people, little mini figures, and he puts them in unusual places and through the project you will learn about depth of field and perspective. And then we move on to Brian McCarthy, who's a photographer who works with toys. And uh, you'll be looking at perspective through that photographer. Uh, then we move on to an, a project based on architecture and the architecture of Dubai. And finally, we do a portrait project where we look at studio lighting. Um, then moving into year 11, you actually start uh, your mock exam and uh, we use one of the titles from the actual GCSE exams and this year it's Fragments. Um, and you work through that project, um, uh, basically going on your own journey, but it maps how your actual external assessment will be run in January. So you kind of get a run through. You have a mock exam where you produce a final uh, photograph and you manipulate it using Adobe Photoshop. Um, and then in January, we actually get sent uh, the ex external assessment, uh, which will give us a theme. Um, and you will work through that until about Easter, when you will again have an exam. You have 10 hours. Um, to create a final piece and manipulate it either digitally using Adobe Photoshop or manually. Um, and that's really the basis of the course. Who should take the course? Well, you will have been introduced to photography in year nine in some of your projects, so that might give you an idea. Also, if you enjoy taking photographs on your phone or um, you've been successful with taking uh, photographs using cameras, that could be an indication that it would be a good idea for you to take it. The other kind of student that we're looking for are students who are perhaps creative, but you don't really enjoy the, the drawing, painting aspect of art. Um, and through uh, digital um, photography, um, you're able to use your creative skills and um, be really successful. Um, going forward, um, where does GCSE photography lead to? Well, you could, from that pathway, you could go into A-level photography or you could go into A-level art and design. And then further forward, um, there are so many new careers that are opening up um, using digital photography. So um, you could go on to be a fashion photographer, you could become somebody's social media um, account developer, um, you could go into journalism photography. So there's lots and lots and lots of different pathways that you go into and it's a growing industry.